Hello, Aries. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of May. The sun continues in the part of your scope that's to do with your resources, but also your sense of self-worth. And at the end of last week, it started to forge a really important angle to Pluto, the planet of transformation, which is in a very worldly part of your situation. If you are wanting to firm up some progress as far as your goals and ambitions are concerned, I can't think of many better aspects. But this may require you to change in some way. Staying as you are might not get you to where you exactly want to be. But the great news is that Mars, your ruler, is forging a sensational angle to Jupiter, the planet of growth, right through the spine of this week. So your confidence can be very high, and this can give you the, uh, the momentum and inter impetus to really make some strides forwards. But don't be surprised if some of the changes are not necessarily tangible ones, but ones that go on inside of you. Pluto helps to connect us to the deepest part of our being. So it may be that you're going to set some aspirations and then you'll need to work towards them in time. Now your ruling planet Mars does make that super link to Jupiter, but it is continued to be challenged this week by Neptune, the planet of dreams. And I've got to be honest, this is the trickster influence. It's not easy. And it's possible that someone around you may undermine your confidence because they say something which just chips away at your self-belief. But you've got to be very strong and single-minded this week. Because if you let this situation, this energy, feed into you, it's not going to be very good for you. So keep the faith is, very, is going to be very important. But if you are thinking of buying or selling anything, Go carefully, because someone may describe something in a way which is not true. You could encounter someone who's quite dishonest. On the other hand, it may be that someone can make a genuine mistake, but you still need to be alert to it. Mars in your third house may make you think a little bit more about being more active, especially in its link to Jupiter. And that's a great thing to do, especially if it helps you to meet new people, because Jupiter is in your sector of relating. So there can be some very positive developments in that regard. Now, there is a full moon which occurs on Wednesday, providing a backdrop of energy for the next two weeks. This is asking you to balance your income and outcome. There could be some unexpected costs that come up over the next fortnight. But what you can do is by being proactive, you can try and see the ways in which you can economise, uh, be a bit more, uh, uh, use a bit more ingenuity in terms of marshalling uh, the resources you do have. But this particular full moon can also work at a more spiritual level about your connection to those people that you're closely involved with. In a romantic tie, this may make you think more about the intimacy between you and a partner. If it's good, this can rev things up. If it's not so good, it can make you yearn for something that's better. Then again, in a commercial partnership, you're looking to have a good flow of communication. And that is obviously a good thing to have because if you share the same kind of values, it's much easier to deal with the challenges that any kind of commercial enterprise can occasionally throw up. But perhaps the standout moment of this week to tell you about, it still happens on Wednesday, concerns the North Node. Now this works in an inverted direction from the rest of the Zodiac, and it moves into the sign of Leo, which of course is your sister fire sign. Over the last 19 months, the nodal axis has been between uh, Virgo for the North Node and Pisces for the South Node. Now that's given us a challenge to work on our dutiful uh, attributes and also look after our health and not get too submerged by the more spiritual or emotional sides of our nature. It's about finding a balance. Now this North Node is going to ask you in the next 18 months to show your passion, Aries, to demonstrate your talents and to have much more self-confidence in what makes you individual. 
If you're someone who does melt into the crowd a little bit and seeks comfort in what everyone else is doing, this is pushing you to have the courage to go for what feels right for you. And with that angle between the Sun and Pluto this week, and the extra confidence that can come from Mars and Jupiter, why not go for it and just show people just what you're about? You could dazzle someone in a romantic context or impress someone with the cleverness of your ideas. But it is still going to be important in terms of your points of destiny to stay connected to groups, to ethics, to what society expects as a whole, but at the same time, just showcase you as an individual more effectively. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.